for those of you that would like to open your own business and have had it in your hearts and or your minds for perhaps several years or even most of your lives, I want to say this to you and I can speak to this very well. Uh, make very sure, make very certain that you're ready for that journey. Opening your own business is not necessarily the easiest thing in the world and it's not supposed to be. It does come with some risk. I've heard it said and it's been told to me even throughout the years that it usually takes three to five years before you start seeing any real money or profit in your business. And I found this to be relatively true with myself. I've had uh, several businesses over the years and uh, I speak from experience. Now, my businesses, uh, when they started, were very much grassroots. I started on a shoestring budget, as some might say. I didn't have a loan from a bank. I didn't have tens of thousands of dollars to start my business. I started with little to nothing. Now, to some, that might not seem to be practical. But let me tell you what I feel and what I believe as a man. And I, I only can speak concerning brother teacher. That is this. There has to be a certain amount of faith that you possess when opening a business. Now I can go on to some other subjects that still are related to having faith, but I'm talking specifically about a business. You have to believe in you, first of all. You have to believe that once you have a passion about a particular thing that you want to see it come to fruition. Either you believe in yourself or you don't. This is uh, what separates men from boys as they say. When I opened my first business I had uh, as I said earlier little to no money and uh, I believed in it. I believed in myself. I believed that I had enough tools, enough information and a reasonable amount of faith to step out on and I did just that and once I got my feet wet the rest is history as it relates to my story and that means it was easier to open the second business and even the third business and now this fourth business anybody's dream by Reginald Inc. Uh, are there trying days? Yes still are. Are there moments when it seems like I don't see the light of day? Yes, there are. But as my old student said, I still remain. In other words, I remain unchanged and unmovable as far as my faith is concerned. I still feel the human condition as anyone else. You know, I still feel the, uh, the pressures of having a business and uh, on certain days that it's not doing as well as I believe that it could have done or if it's a stormy day a, a heavy rain or torrential rain day and there's barely anyone coming out or walking into the store I take that as one of those occasions where I uh, find something that needs to be done in the store and I do that thing or I read or I focus on something else or make videos like I am doing from my store location right now and I tell my friends uh, who have uh, adjoining businesses uh, on this block with me I tell them on a regular basis you have to count your blessings when you have good days and you put money away when you have good days and even great days always preparing for those days those slower those low days so it's not as much of a hit on you so that's pretty much the way I see uh, business. Now, I don't ever aspire to be as a Walmart store per se or a Walgreens or a uh, uh, Best Buy. I'm not interested in, in 100 store locations or a thousand store locations or going overseas and so forth. And I'm speaking concerning me, no one else. I'm interested in trying to make the best model for my own vision that I possibly can and try to make it as perfect as I possibly can and to provide the best service 
to my customers as I possibly can and to make a living for my family, of course. That's it. And that's all for me as it relates to business. I want to still provide value to my customers when they walk in the door, always seeing new faces and, and treating them as even friends. That's my business. What my business is not, it is not accepting you know, the rule of the day from certain individuals when they walk in and they want you to compromise the prices because you're not comparable to Walmart or some other cheap discount store. My prices are very reasonable in my store. I am indeed a, a convenience store, so to speak. But there are still principles that I must maintain in order to stay vibrant, in order to be profitable in this neighborhood that I, in which I have my business. There are some people they don't understand this concept. They don't understand books. They don't understand profit and loss statements. They don't understand your investment. They don't understand or want to understand the fact that you have overhead. They don't understand these things. And when you compare yourself in contrast to Walmart and other big box stores, they don't look at the fact that you're one store location or maybe two in some instances. And Walmart and those other chain stores or just that chain stores. They have hundreds and thousands of stores and they make millions and even billions of dollars annually. That's the difference. So why am I going to digress? Why am I going to lower my own standards and principles when I am at, at least market rate as far as the prices are concerned or even less than that? So you have to have a standard as a business. Remember that. Provide good customer service Treat everyone as you would want to be treated. Be vigilant and watchful to those individuals that are unsavory that come into your business that may want to steal from you because that element still does exist in our society. You have to be mindful of this. You can't walk around with blinders on. So when you're in business, you have to look at every aspect of the business. So as I said before, starting a business on a shoestring budget I want to tell you today, and these are my words of encouragement, don't let anyone deter you when you have the desire to start your own business. Regardless of what the business is or the nature of that business, go on and do it. You only have one go at this thing called life. You only have one life to live. Wouldn't you want to achieve those things or at least strive for those things that you've always wanted? as opposed to be bitter when you become older and you say, I wish I would have done that or I should have done that. And oftentimes, because it was influenced by someone else on the outside who was looking in, telling you that you couldn't make it and that it wasn't worth the attempt or the try. Never listen to the naysayers and those people who like to throw shade and those people who like to uh, Surf, surf the internet, you know, when you have a website and they want to always find something negative to say about you. Whoever you might be listening to me right now, understand this. The world is yours. You are the commander and the chief. Male or female, regardless of your race, color, religion, or creed, you must remember that you control your own destiny. The real question is, do you really want to? This is Brother Teacher. I'll see you in the next video. So long.